We're in my kitchen this morning and I am going to show you the smoothie slash drink that I make almost every single day with suggestions of how I switch it up and it actually tastes really good. I make it warm. You could make it cold and add banana or something to it to make it thicker, but I was gonna show you what I do for fall and in the winter because I'm always frozen and I like warm things. <laughs> so welcome to my kitchen. First of all, I have the kettle on, but just so that it got warm, so you don't want it to boil if you're using matcha especially. Also, I use these capsules they're called Greens Concentrate Tro Trophic with antioxidants. So you can get any capsules made up of greens that are already ground up for you. So this one has like 10 or more different greens. So instead of you having to put greens in a blender or food processor, this way they're already done for you. You can actually swallow the capsules if you just wanna take them with water sometimes. I do that when I don't make these smoothies. If not, they're just in little plastic capsules. So you just pull the capsules apart and then put the powder in with your drink. So, I love my magic bullet, so I use my magic bullet, but you could use a blender or anything. Here is about half full with cashew milk. Sometimes I use rice milk, sometimes I use coconut, sometimes I use almond. If you aren't vegan or dairy free, you can use regular milk, whatever you prefer. I already have one capsule broken up in here. So I'm gonna break up this second one just by pulling them apart. And then you'll see here, I just empty the capsule in there. Another thing I put in is organic wheatgrass. So again, this is something that sometimes I don't always put in. A lot of the times I do because I feel like we always need more greens in our lives, so why not? And I'm not gonna taste it. So I usually use about three quarters of what this scoop looks like. So you can use a whole scoop or half a scoop. I usually use about three quarters. Then I add a vegan protein to it. So this is what I'm using right now from Canprev. Canprev is made by Canadian naturopathic doctors. So I trust their brand a lot. I also use their supplements a ton. I'll have to do another video on that sometime. Life changing for real. So this is called Core Daily Performance Shake for Women for enhanced daily nutrition, bone health, UTI support, and balanced blood sugar. This is the vanilla kind. I haven't tried another kind, but I really like this vanilla one. It goes really good with the flavors of everything else that I mix together. Plus it tastes good on its own and it doesn't taste like that fake vanilla. I've had ones like that that I'm like, oh, that's not real vanilla. <laughs> or the ones that they say they have a flavor and they don't taste like anything and you can't even swallow the smoothie because it's awful. This one, trust me, actually tastes good. <laughs> I'm all about doing what feels good and tastes good. So this recommends two scoops. I sometimes do one, one and a half, two, just depending on my day and how my stomach's feeling. Today I'm gonna do one and a half. Yesterday I taught yoga, so I did two scoops. Um, so yeah, here's the scoop right here. I already put one in, so this is my half a scoop. Just add it in here. Next, I will take this tablespoon, or you can just take a spoon itself, and I usually do about one full tablespoon of organic coconut butter, just because the consistency is so nice. And if I don't have coconut butter, which I don't today, I'll just use coconut oil. So I'm using this huge tub here that I got just from the superstore or Sobeys. This one here isn't refined, but if you do get a refined one, they actually don't taste like coconut. So sometimes when you still want all the benefits, but you're just kind of like, 
I feel like I eat a lot of coconut things. This is a good suggestion <laughs> to not use it. So as you can see right here, I just added my coconut oil right into the smoothie. Then my favorite, I will add matcha. So I buy my matcha at a health food store. Uh, I have no specific brand that I love. Honestly, I just go for what's on sale or the cheapest price when I'm there. Because at a health food store, they're going to be selling quality matcha. And most of the time it's organic, but it's a health food store. You can also get it most of the times at Sobeys in the natural source section. So here's my matcha. This is a teaspoon, and I'll just add it right on top of everything else. Another powder I like to add is maca. So maca is great for energy, for natural energy. I also get this at the health food store as well. And this I don't always measure. Sometimes I use a teaspoon. Sometimes I'll just go like this and just shake it in there. And then one of my favorites, just because I like chocolate things, and this is a healthy way, is cacao powder. So this actually has a ton of antioxidants for you. It is actually really good for you. So internally, you're like, yeah, I'm going to eat the chocolate thing. <laughs> so then again, I just sprinkle it in there. I don't usually measure that. Um, something else you can do to change things up is I'll use a turmeric latte golden milk form instead of matcha. So sometimes if it's during the day, this is for warming, calming, anti-inflammatory, and is really good for healing a lot of illnesses, disease, helps tame your, uh, your digestion, soothes aching joints. So this is great in the winter time if anyone else is affected by the weather. This is something else that I love to use. I'm not gonna use it today, but this is just another alternative. Also feel free to be creative with this. This is just what I do because it helps get everything moving along. It's a few simple things to put together. It tastes good, it's easy to do, but you can add any of your favorite powders. You could add different greens, the chlorella. You could add a banana to this. You could add anything you want. Then to top it all off, I add my warm water. Then I use this little screwy top here. I'm sure there's a fancy name for that. Screw this on. And then I put it in the blender. And because everything is so easily put together, you don't need to blend it for a super long time, which is awesome. And then if you're anything like me, you are obsessed with mugs. So here's a little owl mug, but I also have a ton of other mugs that I love. And then I just pour it into a mug. Yesterday I was on the go, so I actually had a Molson jar with a little lid on it. You could also use your to-go tea cups and tea mugs. I have one that looks like this. And you can use a lock top. Or again, the mason jar with the screw top. Yeah, that's all you do. I'm also going to type this up. Hope you try it and let me know if you poop better. And also if your stomach feels better. And what you think of the taste and maybe some suggestions that you add to it because Sometimes we can get stuck on, well, this is what I put in there. So it's nice to see other options. Enjoy.